This lecture, we're going to keep talking about units and talk about how you can actually use them a lot like variables. Now, what do I mean by this? What I mean is we can cancel them and add them together and subtract them, just as if they were variables. For instance, if I have one meter, I can add that to another meter to get two meters, just like I can add 1x plus 1x is 2x. Similarly, if I have one second plus one second, that's two seconds. But it makes no sense to say one second plus one meter. That doesn't really equal anything. Just like I say one x plus one y, you can't be sure they're the same quantity. That's not two x y or any other kind of merged unit. So just like in variables, you have to add like to like. And just like units, just like variables, you can actually cancel them. For instance, if I have five meters times seconds divided by 2 meters, the meters cancels, and that leaves you 2.5 seconds. And this is going to be critically important as you do physics, because this is the second reason why units are important. As you do your calculations, if you cancel and add and maintain the proper units, then when you end up, you should have the correct units that match your answer. For instance, if I'm saying you're going 2 meters per second times 2, two sec seconds, seconds cancel, and you'll have gone four meters, which makes sense. And we'll cover this a little bit more in depth as we introduce some equations for calculating this type of thing. But for now, the thing that's just worth understanding is you can cancel, and cancel units and add units to get results. And what this means is any time you introduce something into your equation, you have to pay attention to both its units and how it interacts with other units. And this is going to be one of the best early warning signs you'll get in all of physics. When you're adding things together, for instance, let's say you have a, believe you have a distance that's 5 kilometers, and you're adding it to a distance 70 meters. If you don't pay attention to units, you might think this is just 75. But it's not. Kilo means 1,000. And it's worth looking up on Wikipedia what each of the metric prefixes mean. I'm not going to cover that here. But if you look... Each letter means a certain order of magnitude, and it's just equivalent to multiplying that. So kilo is 1,000. That's 5 times 1,000 times meters plus 70 meters. So it's actually 5,070 meters, not 75 meters. And by holding on to these units, you've got an early warning sign. Similarly, let's say I told you that I believed there was a time that was 17 seconds plus 9 meter seconds. If you weren't careful, you might end up with 26 seconds. But looking at this, you'll notice, wait a second, meters times seconds is not a unit of time. That's a unit of distance times a unit of time. So if we believe these should both be times, then we must have done something wrong in the calculations that gave us this answer. So then we'd be able to go back farther in the problem, figure out where we got it. Maybe it was as simple as we forgot to cancel meter somewhere. Or maybe it was as complicated as we forgot an entire term in our equation and our answer is actually wrong. So this sums up the two ways that you can use units. You can use units to make your answer correct, and you can use units to check your answer. Now while you're checking going along, you have to remember to use units that go with your constant. For instance, gravity in metric is 9.81. But wait a second, 9.81 what? Well, 9.81 meters per second squared. And as you get into further equations in this, it's possible that you'd think, wait a second, I'm just multiplying by 9.81, I don't need any units. And then you might find out that you're short by meters per second squared somewhere in your answer. And when you went to look back, you'd have to remember, you actually should have used meters per second squared as an addition to your constant. So when you're learning constants, really do make an effort. Learn what units go with it, and then as you're doing problems, you can cancel these units out and check as you're going along and check your final answer. And this will help you on homework, this will help you on tests, this will even help you on the AP test if you take it. And it's a habit that's worth picking up early rather than waiting right until the end to try to cram.